Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, first beer review in a while. It's actually been a week since we've um, uploaded a beer review. Um, it, things have just been crazy this week. So today is Friday. It is 8.15 Pacific Standard Time, and this is the first beer of the week. So it's been one of those weeks. Um, hopefully we're starting the weekend off with an awesome beer. Uh, tonight we're checking out Doppelganger from Treehouse Brewing, Munson, Massachusetts. Um, 8.2% double IPA. This is basically the imperial version of Alter Ego, which is Julius that is dry hopped with Mosaic and Amarillo. Um, one of my favorite Treehouse beers. Um, I have to give a huge shout out and thank you to my buddy Jason for sharing this. Um, I wasn't able to get my hand on a can of this when they released it and he just randomly reached out and sent me a message was like, hey, did you happen to get any doppelganger? I said, I didn't. And he was like, let me help you. So, so, so stoked and thankful for you sharing this. I can't thank you enough. Um, I say it all the time in these beer reviews, but the craft beer community, it just never ceases to amaze me. So, yeah, really, really looking forward to this um, as per usual. I haven't looked anything up on this. I think the only review I saw uh, was from Nathan Ryerson from Behind the Bar. He did like a blind um, taste test with this. So, um, I don't have... I don't have a can of Alter Ego. I kind of wanted to do them side by side, but I don't have any Alter Ego to do that. So we're just going to check this one out on its own. This was canned on January 22nd. Today is February 19th, so we are right about a month old. Um, you guys know if you watch any of my Treehouse reviews that I like Treehouse beers with three to four weeks on them. I think they are absolutely at their best point in, at that three to four week range. So um, I actually held on to this for a couple weeks to let it sit. Crazy as it sounds, I know. Uh-oh, we're not drinking fresh beer. Um, if you have Treehouse beer and, and it's super fresh, I'm telling you, drink it as soon as you get one and then take an extra can that you have and let it sit for a month and, and drink it. And drink it like close to room temperature. This has been sitting out for uh, about 35 minutes. There's just the slightest chill on it and I think this is going to be absolutely perfect. So without flapping our gums, um, I've tried recording this a couple times and my camera keeps getting screwed up. So hopefully this is the last time we have to try this. So let's get into it. I, <laughs> I can smell that already. Um, Julius got a hundred for me. Alter Ego got a hundred for me. I love both of those beers, so I am expecting really, really good things from this one. And that can is sick. That blue and that blue. It reminds me of North Carolina. So, yep. Uh, if you guys have had Julius, that looks exactly like it. Uh, there's about a finger of bright white head. It pours out its orange juice, pineapple juice, any kind of juice. Um, I cannot see any carbonation because it's so hazy and turbid you can't see anything through that glass. But yeah, awesome finger of, of bright white head. There's already glass lacing being left on that sexy, sexy Treehouse Tulip or uh, Tiku glass. Which, by the way, Treehouse just put those... People have asked me about this. Treehouse just put uh, Tiku glasses online. So if you want one or if you want 10, buy them. 8.2% um, there are alcohol legs for sure. That beer looks absolutely amazing in the glass. So... Um, I could smell that as soon as we opened it. Let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's or it's so much orange. It smells it almost reminds me of King Julius. Um it is so orange forward and just in your face explosively juicy orange. It's insane. I'm like searching. I want that mosaic to be there. I love mosaic, but I'm smelling. It's basically just it's It's like it's like a mix of Julius and curiosity 22. This is such an orange juice bomb right now. Holy crap There is that dank that dank like green herbaceous note in there though that you get with mosaic um, But 8.2% you're not smelling any alcohol at all. It's insane. It is this seriously just tape it smells like you just took oranges and blended them up and put them in a, in a glass. It's crazy. It's so pungent and so aromatic. But yeah, it's oranges. Um, there's there's that dankness there. It's like green hot matter. It's, it's the basil note too. Um, and it's got like that yeasty bubblegum thing. Gosh, this beer smells absolutely killer. I kind of wish I had a can of Julius too and a can of all the, Like It would have been fun to do all three of them. But yeah, it's just an orange fruit juice bomb. It smells incredible. So, wow. <laughs> I can't believe how good that smells. Oh, it's crazy. 
Is somebody calling my phone? What is that? Sorry. That happened last time. My mom called me and I was going to answer it, but yeah, I thought my phone was ringing. It wasn't. False alarm. But yeah, it smells crazy. Uh, let's go and dig in. Jason, thank you so much, sir. Cheers. Wow. Um, the first thing that I'm noticing right away is this is not like a huge chewy beer. Julius and Alter Ego both, from what I recall, have like this massive mouthfeel. This doesn't have that, um, which isn't a bad thing, but right away I can, it already, it tastes thinner. Um, it's, I say it tastes thinner, it just tastes thinner than those two beers. Um, you're not getting that crazy, like huge, chewy, creamy treehouse mouthfeel. First, that's the first thing I'm noticing. Second thing I'm noticing is that on the taste of this beer, the mosaic is so much bigger than on the nose. The nose is just like a straight up orange smoothie. Um, this beer, middle of the mouth, it just, it's that dank, bitter, um, resinous mosaic thing. And the bitterness just sits on the middle of your tongue. It just sits there. Um, you're, you get, it, it, the taste is falling in the nose. There's a lot of oranges. Um, like orange peel, um, like sweet citrus tangerines, um, or it's like, it's just, it's like pithy, um, orangey, bitter, resinous, dank, but that's the mosaic. I love mosaic hops so much. Um, and that's there on the flavor that's not there on the nose, which is crazy. That's, this is kind of a crazy, like, it's kind of a mind fuck of a beer because when you smell it, you're smelling all this orange juice and fruit juice and then when you taste it the oranges are there but it's super dank catty um resinous and bitter on your tongue which is awesome but yeah i will say that the mouthfeel on this um is a step down from julius and from alter ego and that's really the only thing that's detracting this um for me like the only kind of negative part of it um I love the bitterness there though, but it's real balanced. It's still, I mean, you get that dry kind of resinous, dank bitterness sitting on your tongue. Um, but all that like herbaceous basil bubblegum orange thing, um, just kind of balances all out. 8.2%. This is stupid easy drinking for 8.2%. Um, I only got one can of this, but if you had multiple cans of this, you could sit and drink this. No problem. Um, you'd be fucking hammered, but you, you could, you could drink it. No problem. Scary drinkable for 8.2%. It's crazy. Um, I like this a lot, but I don't think I like it as much as I like Julius and Alter Ego. The nose of this beer is as good as both of them. Um, but it doesn't follow explosively juicy like Julius and Alter Ego does. Um, Alter Ego still is like that huge, you know you're drinking Julius, but you just get that different kind of Amarillo-y mosaic thing. This you're getting a, a lot more mosaic. Um, I just had Bright was the last Treehouse beer that I had, which is a, a mosaic hop beer. And this sort of reminds me of that. Just it's, I mean, it, you, you know, you're drinking a bigger beer than I think Bright was 7%. Um, while I said this is easy drinking, I mean, you would know, you know, if you had this blind compared to a 7% beer that this is 8.2% if that makes sense. But um, awesome stuff from Treehouse. I think this is my least favorite of the Imperial version of beer so far. Like we reviewed King Julius. Very green and now doppelganger. I think doppelganger is my least favorite of the three, but I would be stoked any day of the week to be drinking this. So um, I am going to go 99 on this one. Um, Julie, like I said, Julius and Alter Ego were both hundreds for me. Um, the mouthfeel for this one's lacking a little bit, and I kind of just I kind of wish like for as juicy as the nose is, I wish that kind of followed more on the palate. I love 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 mosaic hops. And I love the dank, bitter, resinous um, thing that it's got going on. But I kind of wish there was more of that orange juice in there. But I mean, I'm just, like I said, I'm nitpicking. We're, you're just trying to dissect things and find things wrong when it comes to Treehouse beers. That's like, that's where it's gotten to. I'm like, <coughs> let's try and figure out what's wrong with this. It's, a, it's only a 99. But I mean, as far as double IPAs go, this is as good as, I mean, you'd be stoked to be drinking this. This is better than most, almost every single double IPA on the West Coast, so. It is what it is. 99 for me. It's Doppelganger from Treehouse. Jason, thanks so much again for sending it. If you guys have had this, let me know what you think. If you've had Julius, Alter Ego, any of, the, any of those three beers, 
leave a comment below and uh, let me know what you think and I'm out of here guys thanks for hanging out sorry this was a 10 minute video but it had been a while and I like spending some time with these beers so I'm out of here as always thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time ever since I was younger I was into video games somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes